All right, y'all, the instructions in the dressing room. Protect the mandate, total mental. Protect yourself at all times. Talk a loose, touch them up. Shushu Carrington just turned 26 nine days after his last fight, which was a knockout victory over Brandon Chambers April 8th on the Shakur Stevenson undercard. And this is a young man who has to be on the fast track, Dre, because he's 26 years old now. Yeah, he's a little bit older than some of the younger guys, the 21s, 22-year-olds. But he's got the mindset. He's got the skill set to do it. And tonight he's in against a bigger fighter because Luis Poroso at 32 years old, even though they're the same height and they have the same reach, he just looks big. Poroso looks a lot bigger than Carrington. Not in height, but in stature. He just looks thicker in the body. And But again, when you have an ice IQ and you know how to box, size isn't everything. The words forever Ike on the back of Shushu Carrington are in reference to his brother, who was a victim of gun violence out in Brownsville. Carrington is a very fluid fighter. Doesn't really have a style. He's, he's like water. One minute he's boxing, next minute he's fighting. Next minute, like you see right now, he's standing his ground in your face, but you can't really hit him. He shows a lot of different looks very early in his career. I mean, he's just a fighter who is so far advanced beyond what his record and his age show. He's seasoned, and he's also very media savvy. Just He's a complete package. And he's got that Brownville swagger as well. So. Oh, yeah. No doubt about it. Now, you always talk about going to tournaments as a young kid, and there was something about the New York guys that... They just walk different. Yeah, every region had their own flavor and their own style and their own swag. And New York kids, back in the amateurs, they always seemed older than their age. And they always seemed like they had to grow up fast. And they just, they seemed like old heads, even though they were young. <laughs> There's that one-two combination from Shushu Carrington and that speed on the inside. And then a left hook. From the fighter out of Brooklyn. Perozo thought he wanted to be there. He landed a shot, or half partially landed a shot that Carrington blocked. Then Carrington let off a clip of about five shots, and each of them traveled a half of an inch. And each of them found the chin of Poroso. Ooh, nice counter right from Carrington. Little High level stuff. Catch right there. Shoot. And he's in your face. You, you called that, Dre. He's like right there. And he's going to punish you if you and make a mistake. His style, the style he's employing right now, unnerves a fighter because he's close, but then he's away. And then he's to the side of you, and then he hits you. That unnerves an opponent. But also his corner is yelling, you've got to commit because he's eating you up on the inside. He doesn't want to commit because <laughs> he's getting countered like he just did. So now you see Poroso inside hesitating when early in the round he was thrown. The eyes of Shushu Carrington tell you the story of who he is in that ring. From Poroso, and that's when he knew he really had a problem in this fight. Luis Poroso has his corner man, Raimundo Hernandez, who been, he's been working with out in Puerto Rico. And Ivan Calderon, the Hall of Famer, former 105 and 108 pound champion, also worked with him. And this young man had 500 amateur fights out of Ecuador. So he believes that he just needs to change his mentality, Dre. He can't think like an opponent anymore. He's got to come in with a mentality to be a winner. Well, now's the opponent right now. Like, when he gets hit with the kind of shots he's, been get, he's getting hit with or there looks to be a skill differential between the two, he's still got to keep pressing. He still has to go forward and try to win. But he can't allow himself to go into a shell and get overwhelmed by Carrington. Because that right hand of Shushu just... Landed above the glove of Poroso. Poroso means porous, and his defense is looking porous against right. Shushu no Carrington. Points. Sometimes fans at home think that power in boxing and strength is the only scary thing. Skill can be scary, too. When you, when you get hit with three or four shots, and you know you didn't know that, you're trying to figure out how you got hit with that, and then you try to land a shot and you get countered again, that can spook you. That can scare you and make you not want to punch.
that right hand from Shushu. In close, unnerving Poroso as now he uses that same hand, but he goes down to the body. Stick to the face, stick again. After a nice feint from Carrington that froze Poroso, that allowed Carrington to land those two and a half shots. Barely missed the third one. Blocking that shot with the forearms is Shushu. Carrington is not worried about that. In fact, he wants Porozo to throw. He wants to open him up so he can count. Nice body work from Carrington as Porozo tries to answer with a right to the body of his own. That's what Porozo has to do. He may be outgunned early in these exchanges, but he's got to keep pressing in hopes that something gets through where he can get some respect from Carrington. Porozo has nine knockouts and 16 victories as a pro, so he's got a little bit of pop. He has a car that he uses as an Uber back home, and he owns a motorcycle that his family runs as a delivery service, so he's an entrepreneur as well as a fighter. Nice right uppercut from Carrington, whose only job is to fight. Perozo just missed an overhand right, maybe grazed Carrington, but did not trouble him at all. Good exchange from both guys. And here he is, 15 years later, as a co-main event on a big card on ESPN. Right after our ESPN Plus card, we invite you to move over to ESPN at around 10 after the UFC show. And then, for the interviews, we'll wait for you right here on ESPN Plus for the State of Boxing. Porozo has to continue to not be discouraged, continue to throw, not really heed the punches of, of Carrington, and just focus on getting his through. That's the best opportunity he can put himself in to try to win. He's not going to go punch for punch and skill for skill. But his lane, the best chance that he has to win is just keep throwing. Porozo, the fighter with six losses in his professional career, goes up and down in weight. He was stopped by Raymond Murataya. He also lost to both cousins, Henry Lebron, who just saw earlier tonight, and Orlando Gonzalez by um, decision. His other, his first loss, though, was against former world champion Alberto Machado out of Puerto Rico. So, I mean, he's only been in against the toughest fighters and up-and-comers as you see the right hook from Shushu Carrington with a right hook. Good sequence right there from Carrington. Jabs to the head, pushes Porozo back to get some space, then he jabs him to the body. Now you're seeing another style being employed right now, which is bully style. It's not quite walking Porozo down, but he's starting to do that starting to bully him and say, you may be the bigger man, but you're not the stronger man, and I'm going to hit you at will. Yeah, that's a nice liver shot there from Shushu Carrington, who's fighting for the eighth time in 20 months as a pro. So he's moving quickly, and they are bringing up his level of competition, as Luis Poroso is no slouch. But he's making him leery of throwing the punches here in round three of the scheduled eight rounder. But he can't afford to be Larry Porozo. He's got to keep throwing. He's got to keep throwing because he's getting hit when he doesn't throw. So he might as well throw, get hit, and then throw again. You can say that. I can't say that because <laughs> you've done it. If I say it, it sounds self-serving. Sound, yeah. Like, man, what you talking about? You've never been in there. If you say it, there's some credence to that. Right uppercut That's there from Shushu. That's what to get off right there. Don't let Carrington have a beautiful combination with no pressure. Put some pressure by throwing after he throws. Three rounds in the books. Shot that Carrington really wanted. Dre, when we go to a corner and I hear a conversation where the fighter is engaged with the trainer, like, look, he's got his earmuffs off. What do we do? Body. I, I, I love it when there's that connection between the two because you're not just yelling at an, a, a, a fighter, you're actually having a conversation and you're showing him and leading him to see what you're seeing. Right, and it lets you know that the fighter, if he's talking back, that he's calm and that he's very present and he's in the moment.
the corner of Poroso. They're saying, he wants the box. I need you to rough it up, get inside. But then you risk getting clipped with the uppercut like Carrington just landed. Although Poroso finally was able to get a couple shots in. That's where Poroso wants to live. Dangerous spot, but so is being mid-ranger outside. There's really no safe spot with Bruce Carrington. So put yourself in the best position, let your hands go. Right there, he should have let a shot go. Just like that. Ooh, and that's exactly what Kay Karoma asked for. Why aren't you bumping him when you're on the inside, creating that space and setting up that range for your uppercut to land with power? Bump and punch. Carrington is dangerous when he feels like he's got his fighter. Ooh, on the way, hurt and reeling. Punch selection is excellent. Power is excellent. Accuracy is excellent. That's probably a good idea if you're not going to punch. And your Porozo is to hold on by some time. Porozo right now looks lost. Well, he's being outskilled. He's being he's been hurt. And he realizes that his size, mm. good shot from Carrington. And that was a left uppercut, Dre, the first time he lands that shot. But also is realizing that the size differential is not having any effect on Carrington. He could care less. Now bleeding from the mouth is Boroso, who now takes another right uppercut from Shushu, and it's becoming target practice, going downstairs and upstairs now. Well-placed shots. He sees it. Carrington, he lets the shot go, and it typically land is, lands flush. Good sticky oh. right hand right there, but that's what Perozo has to do. He's got to throw when Carrington throws, or right after Carrington throws. Stop, 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 stop. But also landed a nice counter, but it was Carrington with a damaging left uppercut once again. When talking to Josh Taylor in the lead up to this fight, which is our main event, Teofimo Lopez did hold his words in his assessment of Josh Taylor to their respective spots. And referee Sean Clark says, show me something as we come out for round number five of a scheduled eight rounder. Shushu Carrington looking spectacular so far against 32-year-old Luis Poroso. Carrington with a stick trying to open up the defense of Poroso. Shushu, a very popular fighter amongst the locals here in New York, representing Brownsville, Brooklyn. Okay. Well, he not only can fight, he's got charisma. <laughs> he's, you know, some guys pay for media training, Dre. This young man has been on YouTube since he was six, seven years old. Mm -hmm. And you can tell when you speak with him, he's just very poised, knows what he wants newly engaged to his high school sweetheart, Zara James. And you see a guy who's wiry like Carrington, and fighters might underestimate just how strong he is. Well, if they're watching any of his fights, <laughs> they shouldn't do that. And they should realize that it's not about bulk. What does he do in the ring? How does he move his opponents? What kind of power does he have? And he's shown that he's plenty strong, and he will even get stronger. Nice right hand there from Carrington, but also trying to go to the body. Nice left hook from Poroso. Good feint, and then landed left. He only landed it because he threw it. <laughs> what is it Jordan said? You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. But also had been missing 100% of the shots he didn't take. Carrington's shoulder right hand tried to get one over on Porozo and land a hook, but it just didn't land. Pace slowing down a little bit here in round number five. Porozo not willing to throw, and Shushu looking for the openings. Creates a double right. 
And Perozo's durable, and he's a veteran, and he knows how to survive. And sometimes it's difficult to get a veteran guy out of there. Perozo's got six losses. And you see Carrington trying to think his way through this period of the fight. When we talk about, like I said in the last round, through this moment, you know, when you're young, you're very presumptuous. You assume, hey, I land these kind of shots, you should go. Well, right now, Porozo's not going anywhere, and Carrington got some work in front Ooh, of him. That was a nice short left hook from Carrington as Porozo tried to commit with the right hand. Carrington trying different things. Mm -hmm. He's trying to change the level. He's going up and down with his legs. Then you see him kind of point with his left hand down to try to get Perozo to look there so he can counter. He's trying to do different things right now to get the right shot through on Perozo. And you saw that exaggerated reaction from Perozo on the feint of Carrington. So he's got him flinching. <laughs> yes, he does. And if I'm Carrington, I go back to that good exchange right there. Good punches landed from Perozo. But if I'm Carrington, I go back to that to see if I can get Perozo mm. to react again to try to get him to try to land a clean shot. Absolutely. Porozo's tough. Takes a shot to the body there from Carrington, though. Guys like Porozo won't lay down. You got to help him. You got to help him out the door. And But it's not going to be easy. Porozo's been matched tough throughout his career, so nothing given, everything earned. Tonight he's earning his paycheck Great, against no. No Shushu fun. Carrington. There's Poroso working to the body as his corner wants him to do. And lands a shot to the temple of nice little Carrington. Right there Those could Poroso. be dangerous. Yes, they can. And it might it may be what you were saying, Dre. A little bit of uh, you know, just being bored in there and those are the little mistakes that Kay Karoma was alluding to that can cost you. I think Carrington needs to take some power off of the punches. The majority of the punches that he's throwing, they're hard and Perozo's time that he feels that you're going to throw hard. So for the most part, he can evade the punch or brace for it. Carrington needs to pick up his punches, different cadences, different speeds, and then come back to the power. Break, break, break. But he's a very accurate puncher, a very economical puncher, Carrington is, and he doesn't like to throw unless he believes he can land. Well, Perozo has picked up on that as well. That's a different cadence right there. That's what he needs to continue to do. Punch variety, mixing it up, many ways to say it. And that set up a nice body shot from Carrington on Poroso, that left hook to the solar plexus. Ah. Luis Poroso against Giancarlo Rivera. A fight that promises a little extra spice as two Puerto Ricans face off on a Puerto Rican Day weekend here in New York City. Round seven of a scheduled eight rounder between Shushu Carrington and Luis Poroso, who's fighting for the 11th time in the United States. Good conversation with Kay Caroma in the corner, asking Carrington to bring pull down the guard of Poroso to set up his overhead shots. There's that jab from Shushu. I like these kind of fights for young fighters on the way up. Can't have early knockouts all the time. You can't make it on Sports Center top 10 all the time and expect to be ready when you face top contenders and then ultimately other champions. You need to think through some stuff. You need to have a little bit of hardship. And I'm not saying Carrington has had much hardship tonight. But he's having to think through some stuff. He's landed some good shots, and Porozo still here. This is good for the young career of Bruce Carrington. Absolutely. When you get a fighter who can take your best shot and keep coming at you, that's something that then forces you to figure out different ways of doing it, and that's what Kay Karoma was alluding to in the corner, switching it up. A big, deep breath that Carrington did. <laughs> I need my young fighter to take those along his journey. He's got to have those moments. You always talk about that, Dre. That's one of your bi biggest sayings is like, 
what's he going to do when he has to take a deep breath? Yes. And we just saw him take a deep breath. Or when something's not working, like you see here, but also has got a good veteran crafty defense. He's not super polished, but he's been around the game long enough to protect himself and to Turn make things difficult. Turn it off. Good job by Sean Clark tonight as well. Nice left to the body and then left uppercut. You saw the quickness that in this building we've seen Tito Trinidad deliver on so many occasions, that double left hook. But I also love it because Carrington is at such a high level that he can have some moments that we deem difficult or not easy, but yet still dominate and still learn and ultimately still win in the process. That's a nice check left hook as Carrington Good was countering and now he's digging downstairs. Yes, I like the whole combination, the sequence and the punch selection from Bruce Carrington. You talk about steps in the right direction. That's exactly what we're seeing from Shushu Carrington here in the seventh round as he connects on a nice right hand. And if you're excited by this fight, wait until you see what we have in store for you in the month of July. When we move over to ESPN. Let's go. Round eight, the final round between Bruce Carrington and Luis. But also, what would you like to see in this final round out of Shushu? I think he's doing what he needs to do. He's being patient, but yet taking advantage of opportunities and letting his hands go. He's landed good shots, and he hasn't gotten out of his, gotten beyond himself and gotten too wild because Poroso's crafty enough to counter. He's doing what he's supposed to do. He's thinking through. He's trying different things round in and round out. Some rounds are better than others, but he's been in control the whole time. Porozo is just being the old veteran that he is. I think the poise and the patience is my biggest takeaway from Carrington in this fight. That's what you want to hear about a fighter in his eighth professional fight. You want to hear poise, patience, but you want to see this type of action, digging downstairs to the body, creating openings to the head. But I like it because there's going to be some nights where ooh, this is all you're going to get for 12 rounds, not just eight when he steps up the championship round. And the crowd may boo, they may be displeased, but it's about winning and moving on to the next assignment. Though Carrington is stepping it up right here and is putting himself in a position to hurt Porozo and possibly get a knockout. Yeah, Sean Clark already said, show me something. So Luis Poroso is going to at least have to let his hands go because the referee is intent. His eyes are focused on the reactions from Luis Poroso here with a minute left. Carrington has his eyes fixed to the body of Poroso, but he really wants the shot to the head. He's trying to look Poroso off. Ref looks like he's looking to stop yeah. He's waiting for one punch and to just pounce. He's so close. That's the third time this round, and there it is. A two-punch combination with 43 seconds left, Dre. It's premature. I'm not sure what that was about right there. Porozo hadn't shown anything that he hadn't shown throughout the fight. He's taken all the shots well. He may stumble back, but his facial expression didn't change. He didn't, his eyes weren't, you know, dilated or big. Time. Ladies and gentlemen, here inside the theater at Madison Square Garden, referee Sean Clark calls a stop to this bout at 2 minutes, 17 seconds of round number 8. For your winner by technical knockout, Bruce Shushu Carrington. Fifth knockout win as a pro in eight victories for Sean.